And this is just an overview of the kitchen, everything that we'll be working on in the future. So in today's video, we're just going to focus on these two right here. So when we open this, this is basically a junk cabinet. So hopefully we can do something with this today, make it look a lot better. And then in here we have also just full of random things. So in the final video of the kitchen declutter series, a lot of you guys requested to see a follow-up and update video of what the kitchen looks like. So that's what this video is all about today. We're going to go through memory lane and just highlight some of the areas that we decluttered and then show what it looked like after I decluttered those spaces and compare them to what it looks like today. Going through this cupboard here was not too bad. It was the junk cabinet that had a ton of stuff in there. As you guys remember, there was a ton of stuff that was just sitting in there taking up space that was no longer needed and a lot of it ended up being donated. I do remember last time that the way that I organized things could have been done a lot better. I just needed some containers or bins to better organize certain categories. There are a couple of things that have been thrown into this junk cabinet, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot of the stuff that they still use. So moving on here. This could also use more organization. For example, the medicine, it's all sitting there, but it just needs to be grouped better. Some candles and things for birthdays could also be contained in a bin. And then we have just random candy. We still have the batteries sitting there. A couple of other things, looks like there's more batteries up there. And that is still sitting up there this whole time. And I don't think it has been used. So maybe that's something that could be decluttered. It would be nice to revisit some of these areas to declutter some stuff that hasn't been used in all these months or and or organize things better with some bins. I know a lot of you guys mentioned to go to Dollar Tree. It's a great place to start, especially if you want to do this on a budget. So I would like to have these more organized. The next section we tackled were these three drawers. The top two were drawers that she accessed frequently, if not every single day. And then the bottom one was just filled with a ton of random things. Some old decor that she had in the kitchen from years ago. Lots of reusable bags and grocery bags sat in there. So that last drawer was never opened and when we took everything out, we laid everything out onto the kitchen table and when my mom saw everything, she was very surprised to see how much stuff was living in there. When my mom saw all these items laid out on the kitchen table, she was surprised to see how much stuff lived in these drawers. And this was really the first time when we were taking everything out that my mom saw how much stuff was living in there and that there was much more to come in the other sections of the kitchen. This kitchen, as you guys can clearly see, was not decluttered in a very, very long time. A lot of the things that were pulled out, especially as we get more into the kitchen, just have been sitting there for many years. And I think it's just really important to recognize how important it is to declutter regularly so you avoid having a cluttered kitchen just filled with junk and useless stuff that you don't need. Here is the top drawer. The second drawer is just filled with lids for the pots and pans. We have baking supplies and some of my nephew's plates and other accessories those are going to be here now that now we're going to go in the drawers
we still have some lids it looks like there's a lot less lids here than before that's because we did get rid of a ton of pots and pans as you guys already saw looks like there's just a couple of these containers that might have just slipped into here but not bad so that all lives here still it is a little disorganized but once again at least it has a home and it all lives in here so so the next spot we're decluttering are these three small cabinets up here this drawer got this all these appliances the next section we tackled are these three little cabinets at the very top these are very narrow and long and very deep so a lot of the stuff has been pushed back all the way to the back there stuff that has been sitting there for a very long time that has never been looked at and so in here this was the first time that we found some pretty interesting stuff and very random stuff if you guys remember so this was the first time where we were able to see how much junk there was as we took everything out from brand new stuff in its boxes that has never been used or open to expired items to broken appliances and other things a lot of the things were living in there we got rid of and cleared all that clutter did not declutter the fridge but I do want to show you guys that my parents did get a brand new fridge so that's exciting <laughs> but anyway we did go and declutter up here so let's look inside wow I think this is still exactly the same still have the all the disposables the cups, plates, and all those things up there. And this bag, I don't remember what was in there, but yeah, still a lot of space in there, not cluttered back up, so love that. Moving on up here, there used to be a ton of old expired alcohol bottles, and now it looks like they're using it for some food items probably some overstock that can't fit in the pantry and I still have that bag back there I think I put stuff in there but definitely still a lot better than before we just have a few snacks up here at the top oh okay I'm not entirely sure what happened here looks like This has some of the photos that we found, um, some magnets that were on the old fridge. They just got stuffed in here, so. Out of everything we've looked at, this is probably the worst and it's still not that bad, so <laughs> gotta revisit that. These definitely need to find other homes, so I think that's what the problem is here. Down here, everything down here is still the same. So up here is where they keep all their mugs, cups, plates, and a few years ago I actually did a declutter of this section here, and we haven't gone through this since, so it's definitely time. I think it's pretty organized, it's just we have to go through everything again and see what they don't use anymore. As I mentioned, I did declutter this cupboard a few years ago and the way that I organized it has stayed the same ever since, which is really nice to see. And just for some context, there are four people living in this house. In case you were wondering, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but there's four people living here and my nephew. So there's a ton of cups and bottles and mugs and things, but we definitely don't need this many for the amount of people that live here. Now we have the cupboard with 
mugs, cups, bottles, plates. That all looks actually very nice. Let's look over here. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That looks good. Next up, we did the pots and pans down below under the stove. And there were a ton in here. Again, these cabinets are very deep and narrow. And so I was always surprised to pull out things because it just was never ending. I kept pulling out more and more stuff, but we got all of it out and my mom was able to pick what she wanted to keep and what she no longer wanted. I had a comment in my last video, I believe, and I'm sure there's been other people that have noticed as well, but if you saw my garage videos, you guys remember that my mom has brand new pots and pans in the garage that have been sitting there for a while now. I believe the comment that I got was somewhere along the lines of, why does your mom keep these older pots and pans while she has these brand new ones in the garage still? So to answer the question, yes the brand new pots and pans are still in the garage and, and to answer the question why i am not 100 percent sure but i think it all just comes down to a habit and my mom's habit and what she's comfortable with using are her older pots and pans meanwhile there are brand new ones sitting in the garage taking up space collecting dust so I feel like I just need to bring up a gentle reminder to her like, like, hey, you have these new ones sitting in there waiting to be used. So I will definitely bring that up next time. And I do agree with some of these comments that I get about them. I mean, I would love to use the pots and pans myself if they were mine and they were brand new. But I think it just comes with the hoarder mentality and just not being able to let go of your older pots and pans that are just your favorites but you still want to buy new things just in case something doesn't work out we have the pots and pans next basically the same except some of these are just kind of piled on top of each other but it's really hard to fit all of these in here just because of the size of this it would be nice if these shelves were a little bit taller that way it would fit more pans better but that's how that looks like today let's try to open this one and here it looks like they have a bunch of condiments this is the second drawer which i can't open <laughs> more stuff going through all of these drawers were one of the easiest tasks in the kitchen just because even though they were pretty full and there was lots of stuff in each of them it was pretty easy to go through and it did not take that much time again a lot of the stuff that were in here were either trash something was broken and other things were just not usable or things that my mom didn't want anymore so those were donated the ones that were in good condition of course were donated and the rest were that she wanted to keep and when we were done with that and i was putting all the stuff back into the drawers everything looked so much better and there was a ton more space in each drawer here's drawer number one so we kept all the straws and then all the other utensils that my mom wants to keep fit in this little tray, except for this one. So we just put it here on the side. And then here are the good condiments. These ones were just put in here the other day because they had in and out. So we're just gonna leave those there. There are some duplicates here, but she wanted to keep them all. So we're keeping them all for now. This one's kind of just more miscellaneous things that couldn't fit up there. Obviously, we don't have any type of organizational items in here like dividers or trays, but this is what works for now. And maybe eventually in the future, we can have those just to not have these all moving around in here. So this is what this looks like now. We have an empty drawer.
Very nice. And here is scary cabinet number one. You can see it's very, very cluttered. I'm pretty sure it goes very deep in the back, so not 100% sure what we're going to pull out today and what I'm going to see. Same thing with down here at the bottom. Lots of stuff in there. Lots of cleaning products down here. I do want to better organize this, so hopefully it just looks so much better at the end. And then also get rid of that stuff in the back as well. And here's the last part that I just recently shared with you all, decluttering the cabinet and under the sink. I did not expect to find all these items in here that one day when I was decluttering. I did not realize that I saved the best for last. I feel like this part was definitely the most overwhelming and intimidating out of all the sections that we worked on. And I just was so happy at the end. If you guys saw the results, you probably already know. Everything just looks so much better. And this was really the end. And afterwards, it was just amazing to see how far we've come, how much we got rid of, so many bags full of just junk that was taking up space in every single nook and cranny and drawers and cabinets in this kitchen. Everything is all done now. Let's show you how it all looks. So here's the first drawer. It's all empty now. We just have this new shelf liner that my mom bought. So I just placed that in there. Down here in the bottom, basically all empty. Nothing at the top. And then down here at the bottom, just a couple of other items that she uses, just not regularly, so I put them down in the bottom. That's all that's down there, just these few things, and everything else is now empty. This is a dish drying rack that I just put here in case she wants to put anything on top, since this is pretty rusty, so we're keeping that like this. And now we have all that space, and under the sink looks so much better I'm so happy that I found two bins so I put a lot of the cleaning supplies in here the bigger stuff right next to it and then smaller items like brushes fit all into this small bin and now it's all organized and easy to grab and very easy to see so I just love how it looks now. Hopefully my mom does too. I'm sure she will. I can't wait to show her how this looks. Yeah, everything else is empty except for that thing. I just noticed I missed one thing, but I'll grab it right now. <laughs> looks so good. Yay. Here's that broken shelf. Still looks the same. This has been living in here. Here. We still have nothing up there, those down there, and under the sink, oh, okay, everything was in that bin. I think what's happening here is the using it and not putting it back in there. Maybe the bin is a little bit too tight for everything to fit in, so it makes it difficult to put back. Just leaving things like this is obviously a lot easier. So maybe we have to, <laughs> maybe we have to figure out a different solution for that. And then those are the vases that I guess they decided to keep. Before I got started today, I did let my mom know that I was going to come over and give you guys an update of what the kitchen looks like today. And she was a little bit nervous to see what I would find and see behind those drawers and cabinets. But honestly, I don't think there was much that she needed to be nervous about because it actually looks pretty good 
obviously a million times better than what it looked like before. So much more space. It's not just filled with junk and trash and all these other things that just didn't belong there. I tell her about your very sweet and kind comments that I get in all the videos about how good of a job she's doing and so she's super thankful for that. So thank you guys for your kind comments and just encouraging my mom to keep going because obviously it's made such a big difference and the kitchen is so much more functional than it ever was before. And yes, she definitely does see a big difference now in her kitchen. and. There's no way she would ever want it to go back to the status that it used to be. So two things that I did notice while going through those cabinets. One, a few areas could use more organization, especially the junk cabinet. There's a lot of just bits and bobs and little things in there that need to be contained better. So I definitely want to revisit that and organize all those things and tools in there a lot better. And two, figure out maybe a different system for under the sink because maybe that one bin was a little bit too tight for everything to fit in. So whenever we use things, we want things to be put back as easily as possible. Maybe it hasn't been easy for her to put those things back into that bin. So there could be another solution for that. And lastly, there are a few things that still could find new homes instead of living in the kitchen drawer as you guys saw earlier but other than that I think it looks great so that concludes the kitchen series if you watched every single video and commented and liked and supported me thank you so much as always doing this is so rewarding in so many ways and I just love to do it so thank you guys make sure you're liking this video and subscribing if you're not already there's a ton more decluttering and organizing content coming your way soon. See you guys very soon.